Hi, this is Anu and welcome to Yarnology, where I spend some time with you talking about yarn and everything related to crochet and I share with you what I have been liking in the past few weeks. So grab a coffee, a tea, your favorite fall pumpkin spice latte and let's have a look at what I have been finding on my last trip to the yarn store. I don't know about you, but when I go to a yarn store, I am like a kid in a candy shop. I am unstoppable, uncontrollable. Yeah, it's not really pretty. I need to be on my own, focusing. Uh, yeah, I posted some pictures of my little caddy. Actually, it's a big caddy and it's full of yarn. I have a problem. Hi, my name is Anu and I have a yarn problem. But anyway, this is my passion. This is what I do. Um, every time a company comes out with a new yarn, I am so happy and excited. I just want to put my hands on it and touch it and try to crochet with it. And I thought, why not sharing my experiences with you? Something that needs to be said is that I am not sponsored. Everything that I buy, I buy with my own money and I have no outside influence whatsoever. I will be extremely honest with you when I like something, I really like something and when I don't, well sometimes it happens, I'll just let you know and then you can decide if you want to try it for yourself, if you will avoid buying it. Totally up to you, but I thought that would be cool and that would be also a nice way to open the channel between us, open the conversation and yeah, and then talk about, you know, what you have been finding on your side of the planet, on your specific yarn store. I know that every time I travel to another country, one of my favorite things to do is to go and check the local craft and yarn store. So yeah, we can share experiences and uh, next week I am going to London. So maybe I will take my camera with me when I go and I find my favorite yarn store in London and I can vlog or something like that. Anyway, this is just ideas. Uh, let me know if you're interested at all. You might not be and if you're not, just pause, get out, bye. But if you are, Please like it so I know that I am on the right track and I am doing something that you would enjoy. This is my goal. And yeah, so let's get into it for today. The yarn that is in the spotlight and that I have been so excited about and I wanted to share with you is this one. It is called Scarfy and it is from a lion brand. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. One of the many reasons I like this yarn is first of all, look at the gorgeous color. It comes in an array of color. Uh, it is an ombre pattern. Yes, you know, I am crazy about ombre this year and it's super in fashion. So I think it's really cool when a big brand like a lion's brand comes up with something that is really in trend and keeping up with, with what is in demand in the fashion world, aka ombre effect. That's really cool. It comes in an array of color. I will try to put a picture of all the colors right here that you can find this yarn in. Uh, this one is called, I don't have my glasses, mustard, creamy mustard. Creamy mustard is this one. It's beautiful. It's yellow, mustard yellow, and then it slowly turns into cream. Totally beautiful. Um, another one that I have here that I have picked up at the store for myself and that I cannot wait to try is called Creamy Black. Yes, Creamy Black, you see, and it is black and then it turns into gray and then it goes into cream color. Absolutely gorgeous, cannot wait to try it. And the third one that I picked up ooh, 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 is this one. This one has top, 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 top color and it is called creamy top. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it goes from the top color and then gets to light beige and to the cream color again. Absolutely gorgeous. Super, super, super soft. It is number five, so it's a bulky weight yarn. You have 150 gram of yarn in each and every skin, each and every ball, which is 5.3 ounces. And it is uh, 3.12 yard. And in metric, it's 285 meters. 
that is what it is. It is suggested to, oh my gosh, I need my glasses. Let me go get my glasses. There we go, much better. All right, let's try this again. Ooh, see? All of a sudden I look much smarter, don't I? Okay, so it is suggested to use a crochet hook 6.5 millimeters and knitting needle 5.5 millimeters. So yeah, I uh, tend to use bigger crochet hook than what is suggested if I would like to make scarf because I like my scarf to be really airy and soft. By the way, there is on the back of the label a pattern a free pattern to make a scarf that only takes one skin of yarn so that's really really cool uh, this retails for on the lions brand website for 9.99 but i get mine at joanne's fabric and i paid 7.99 for each and every one so it's really affordable and yeah, the quality is really, really nice. For uh, washing, they suggest a machine, it's machine washable, nice. So it's made in Turkey and it is machine washable, which is really cool. Uh, machine wash, cool, lay flat to dry. That's usually what I do uh, with any of my crochet work. I always lay it flat to dry. I never dry it or else, um, yeah, it would shrink basically. So yes, what can I tell you more about this yarn that, except the fact that I cannot wait to create something with it for you. I think this is going to be the star of my next tutorial. So stay tuned to see what I will come up with. And that's it for this time. So I hope you enjoyed this new format and I am looking forward to uh, share with you on a regular basis. I don't know exactly how often, but as often as I can, I am looking to share with you my uh, new exciting findings that I find in the crochet world. And in the meantime, until next time, happy crochet. My cherry. And so on and so forth. Oh my god, so blurry. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> yeah, the sharing. And of course, they have a little yarn there, a little. Oh my gosh, I cannot. 1200. And it has 12. Oh my gosh. And yeah, so. It took me two two skins of yarn for my scarf, but that's because I like them wide and long. Yeah, that's what she said. Hi, this is Anno and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be back. I've been away for a few weeks and I missed you guys so much. I missed filming, I missed sharing my crochet with you. So I'm so happy to be back. And for this week, I was thinking of sharing with you since it is fall now I don't know thank you thank you it was so hot I love the cool temperature do you too I absolutely love that here in Boston it was 42 degrees when I woke up this morning I love it I love it I love it back to my Uggs and my sweaters and hats so I thought today I would share with you a pattern of a really simple beanie hat that you can add a rim to and I thought it would be super cute to add two little bare ears to it too. So what is cool about this hat is that I begin by showing you how to create a very basic yet really cool because it has the rib crochet beanie hat. And after that, I show you how to create a rim if you're interested. Some people like beanie, some people like that little classic look with a rim. So I'll show you how to add that if you want. And I will also show you how to add two little bare ears. Why not? It's super cute and it's fun for kids and adults too. The 